Hello, I'm Ralph Gable of the Electronics for the Inquisitive Experimenter YouTube channel. Today we're going to build a very simple uh, ground plane antenna for the 2 meter uh, amateur radio band, a VHF antenna. It consists of a, an SO239 uh, connector, which is a UHF female connector and five pieces of brass rod. If you find this video helpful, please click on the like and subscribe to the channel so that you will receive notifications when new videos come out. Alright, so let's just dive into making this antenna. Well, Today we're going to be building a VHF vertical made out of an SO239 or UHF female connector and this is the original one that I built back in the 1990s it's also the one that I used to speak to the uh, Mir space station on very simple just a piece of number 12 copper wire down to the SO239 and then four pieces of copper wire to make for the ground plane all at the appropriate lengths. Only the one that we're going to make today is going to be a much more sturdy version of the same thing. It'll be made out of brass rod instead of house wiring. And this is the response of that old antenna. You can see 1.35 to 1 down to somewhere between 1.15 and 1.2 to 1 up to about 1.3 to 1 across the entire 2 meter amateur radio band. So it's a little bit different than what we were expecting based on the simulation. Based on the simulation at 146 megahertz we should be expecting at about 1.0 6 to 1 at the center, 1.14 at the bottom end, and about a 1.11 to 1. But then again, the dimensions of the antenna that's here do not match the dimensions of the antenna in the simulator. And we are sitting in my shop here surrounded by stuff. So it's not exactly an ideal place to be looking at the actual final SWR of an antenna. First thing that we're doing is we're taking our brass rods and we are putting little eyelets on the end so that we can connect them to our connector here using some 440 hardware. After much debate we decided to, to cut our brass rod for the vertical portion at 19 and a half inches. You can always cut it shorter. You can't stretch it. Again, after much debate, we decided to cut the radials to... to... Wow, we haven't cut it yet. Alright, take two. Look at this. <laughs> after much debate, yes, we actually did cut this one. And we cut it to, uh, here, and look at that, we actually cut this one to 21 and 3 quarters inches. And so now we're going to bend each of the radials at a 45 degree angle to the eyelet. So every one of our radials has its 45 degree angle and so we are ready to assemble. We're going to solder our center conductor in place and then assemble the, the radials with our screws. So we got the center uh, vertical portion now soldered to our SO239 aka 
UHF female connector. Now we're going to assemble it with its radials. And so now it is completely assembled all the way down to the most awesome job of connecting the radials in place. Now we get to see how the thing tunes and there's the mascot in the background. And so this is what our antenna looks like. At the bottom end of the band we have a 1.3 to 1. At the center of the band we have 1.16 to 1. And at the top of the band it's 1.2 to 1. Quite an acceptable uh, response from this antenna. It is complete. We have our vertical and the radials and it is just a thing of beauty. Look at that. So there you have it. We've built a very very simple ground plane antenna for the for use in the two meter uh, amateur radio band 144 to 148 megahertz. So if, if you found this video helpful please click on the like and subscribe to the channel so that you will receive notifications when new videos come out. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching and toodaloots!